Alright, so now, here's the next thing. You pull out your ocarina. After they've all grown up, and they're all big, they say, Look at us, we're huge frogs. And basically they want you to play some music for them, and help them catch the flies uh, that fly above them. So... Okay, blah blah, cancel. Okay, I need to explain how to do this, because this is going to be kind of tough. Let me wait for that rain to stop. Alright, then they're all like, yay, blah blah blah. Okay, what you have to do is a butterfly is going to fly above a frog, and each of the frogs represent one of the buttons for your ocarina. Because um, you have the, the C buttons, and then you have the A button, and they all represent a button for your ocarina. Um, each frog represents one of those buttons. Uh, the blue one in the front is the A button. Uh, the t very back one is top C. The one on the left is left C. The one on the right is right C. And then that yellow one in the front there is the bottom C. So whenever the f fly is above one of the frogs, uh, you just have to play that particular button on your ocarina. Actually, it's not a fly. I think it's a butterfly. So that one's A, then left C, right C, bottom C. Left C. See, we gotta be really quick with it though. It'll take a few tries. Let's try again here. Blah blah blah. Okay. A. Left C. Right C. Bottom C. Right C. Left C. Up. Up. Yeah. It's kind of tough, but yeah. It, it just takes some practice. You'll get the hang of it. There we go. And then, what do we get? We get a piece of heart! Collected three pieces! Hooray! Good old frogs. And that does it for these good old frogs. You frogs better watch out for this uh, laboratory creepy guy. He's turning you guys into eye drops. Okay. Alright, so our next stop is an interesting place. That's right, we're actually going to go to Death Mountain Crater, which seems kind of odd. You're probably thinking, like, whoa, you can't even survive there. How are you going to go there? Well, we're actually only going to spend literally, like, five seconds here, so don't worry about the heat. Um, unless you have, like, half a heart, because then the time limit's going to go down quickly. Um, yeah, we got two minutes to hang out here. Well, all we're going to do is we're going to go up to this little patch of soil, and we're going to plant a magic bean. One of the magic beans we got earlier in the video. Or this might be the second video at this point. And that's it. That's all we're going to do there. Alright, now we're going to go to Lake Hylia. And we're going to do the same here. There's a magic bean place here in Lake Hylia. And <clears throat> it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to plant a magic bean in one of these locations. Here we are in glorious Lake Hylia. Um, now this magic bean thing is over there in front of the laboratory. So I'm gonna off screen until I get there. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so here we are in front of the laboratory where that creepy guy lives. Um, and right here we have another patch of soil. So we're just gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna plant a magic bean there. Ooh, so pretty. And then that's it. Um, now we only have one little thing, one more thing to do with Child Link, I believe. And we're gonna go to the Temple of Time. There's one more side quest thing to do with Child Link. And sadly, we're going to have to go back to our tragic adult years. Where everything's grim and boring. And you don't get to just play around with chickens or anything. Alright, Temple of Time. This is a shortcut to the market. We're going to come here to the market. With all the puppies that run around and follow you. And stalk you. Okay, but it needs to be nighttime for this though. So I'm going to have to play the sun song here and make it nighttime. Okay, so it's nighttime. And there they are dancing forever. Okay, we're going to go over here to this room, or this building. Right, meow. Go inside. Oh, a dog followed me in here, that's funny. And then there's this, wow, they don't really care for the dress code much here in this place, do they? Okay, we're going to play this game for 10 rupees. And we get a key. And we're going to go in this door. Oh, sorry puppy. Okay, now the object of this game is that you have these two treasure chests in each room. One of them has a key to go to the next room. And one of them only has rupees. And then you have to get the key to excel to the next room. And if you get the wrong treasure chest, 
then you lose. Um, so the object of the game is to just go in each room and pick the correct treasure chest, and it's randomized each time. But, now that we got this little item called the Lens of Truth, there's actually a cheating way of doing this. If you shine the Lens of Truth, da 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 that actually shows you which one has the key, and that's the way to cheat and easily beat this game. Um, now if you want to, you can play this game on your own without the Lens of Truth. You don't have to have the Lens of Truth. You could be very lucky and beat this without it. I've done it before. It's just really based on chance, so if you want to try that, uh, feel free. It only costs 10 rupees. So I like to sometimes try to guess which one. Uh, I think it's going to be in this one. Oh, I would have lost. Shucks. So the key's in here. There we go. Go on to the next room. That's, the, that's all you have to do to play this game. Uh, key is going to be in here. Yep, I was correct. <laughs> These treasure chests are so big. There we go. Let's move on to the next room. There we go. Oh, don't roll, Link. If I had a dime, if I had a, uh, a rupee for every time I rolled into something when I meant to open it, I'd have a lot of rupees. There we go, and I think this is the last room. There we go. I believe that'll do it. Yep, and we're done. What do we get? Oh god, it's gonna be something real fantastic. I know, I'm gonna get the Triforce or something. I just know it. We got a piece of heart! We're the winner! And we've completed another heart container. Awesome. So we don't have that many left, actually. And the dog is still following me. <laughs> what if he followed me into the Temple of Time and uh, I pulled the Master Sword and all that? Oh man. I don't even know how that would work. I guess he wouldn't go forward in time with me or something. That'd be interesting though. If I was Link, I'd totally experiment with this thing, the whole going back and forward in time. But this is actually a cool moment because you know what we're about to do? We're about to go back to the future. Okay, so now that we're an adult, we can go back to those magic bean locations that we planted earlier and use the plant. So we're going to go to Death Mountain Crater. Okay, so now we're back here in Death Mountain Crater. This is where I planted the bean earlier. And now, as an adult, it's sprouted into a full plant. And we can use it to get up there. And there's a convenient heart piece up there. So we're just going to ride all the way up here. And there we have it, another heart piece. And we're going to do the same thing uh, over in Lake Hylia, where I planted the one there. So now let's warp to Lake Hylia. Okay, so I'm back here in front of the laboratory in Lake Hylia. That's where we planted this magic bean. And we can use this plant to get on the roof. Um, and you're probably wondering, couldn't you just use the long shot? Well, you actually can't. Climb up the ladder here, and at the top will be our last piece of heart. Uh, that we're gonna get for now. Not the last in total, but... And then that's gonna do it for all the side quest stuff for now. There we go! So now we can start the next temple, hooray! So let's warp to the graveyard. With the Nocturne of Shadow. There we go. And we can finally start the next temple. Uh, yeah, I wanna warp to the graveyard. And just play that for the heck of it. Actually, I would. There's actually some ghost uh, called the Composer Brothers. Um, if you, like, read those two graves, uh, these guys called the Composer Brothers, who are ghosts, uh, they'll actually come out and fight you, but I might, I might show that when I leave this temple. I don't know. It's not really important. They just kind of talk to you, but... 
All right, open this up. We need Din's fire. Din's fire. I don't even know why they put this here. It's just such a cheap, stupid little thing that we need to do before that we can go inside the temple. Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads.